Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker! Alright, so we are over here at uh, uh, Windfall Island. I had to look at the map because I always... For some reason, my brain, like, when I'm not thinking about it too hard, I get this and Outset Island. At least the name's confused for some reason. I don't know why. I really don't. <clears throat> Alright, well... We came here because we need to go to Gale Isle. However, I realized we haven't actually been here for a while. Hello! Hmm, and who might you be? Why do I get this strange feeling that we've met before? Ah, it's you! The little boy who promised big who promises big promises and then fails to deliver on them. Hmph. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't save my daughter. But fortunately, not everyone in this world fails to deliver. As it turns out, my dear uh, Mila was saved by a group of kind pirates. The pirates had a leader, Tetra, I believe she said her name was. I was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty reward, though. Thanks to them, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. But my little Mila is alive and home safe where she belongs. So I can't complain. My daughter is more important than money. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Good morning. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Cash on delivery, postage is, yeah, okay, fine. Yo, uh, oh. Really? Back at the mail center? Okay, I thought this was gonna be Beetle sending me my silver membership reward or whatever. Yo, how have you been, man? I gotta tell you, you really helped me out back there at the mail center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but my postman skills are still weak. I can't seem to... I just can't seem to hit 22 letters. I doubt I'll ever be as good as you, man. So anyway, I've been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you, and I figured I just had to write you a letter. It sounds like you're doing some pretty amazing stuff, man. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man, man. You can probably tell I had no idea what to write, but hey, I figured the least I uh, I could do would be to send you a letter of encouragement. So, yay, man, yay! Go, man, go! Go, go! Never give up! Never lose hope! And while I don't make much, I'm sending you the wages I've earned lately. Just doing my part. Hope it helps! I'm really sorry I had to send this COD, but I guess that's the price of fame. Take care. Thanks again, boss, from Baito. You made me pay 10 rupees <laughs> to give me 20 rupees. <laughs> when I have five, when I have 1,500. I swear, people are not smart. Hello, sir. Would you like some chew jellies? I actually don't know how many you need, so. <gasps> Is that? Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Mm. Oh, ho, ah, this is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating jelly dis development. Uh, I've never seen this one of the, seen one of this particular hue on Paw Print Isle, the small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot. For when it comes to, make, to, to making potions, I am a true artist. I have been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! For a second there, I, uh, I thought we were all square. But now it seems quite clear that you don't have enough. Uh, 15, okay. So we should be able to at least get the green potion made. Okay, that's it. That's the spark I was looking for. That sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka! I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new, unheard of kind of potion. It's been 10 years since I began my now legendary studies of the chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my first new inspiration in years vanishes. Okay. 
good luck to you. Just be careful, okay? I said be careful. It, it's ready at last. My new chew jelly concoc concoction. It's still piping hot, and I want you to have the fir this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. Hmm, what's this? No, oh, what a travesty. You don't have an empty bottle. I can't give you any potion. All right, well, we have ourselves a green potion now. All right, so we need five more for the blue as well. So we'll have to do that at some point. I'm sure we'll get, we'll encounter five more blue shoes. So let's see, where do we want to go? Oh, hi. Hey, you, come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're in my way. Can't you move? Oops, uh, that won't do. That won't do at all. Already I'm back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry, really I am. Um, welcome to you, sir. This way to Windfall's outdoor shop. Chock full of fun and happy products. Okay. Yes, 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 it is another fine day, is it not? Days like this are best spent shopping. Okay. Let's go ahead. We'll buy a town flower. Because that means in our delivery bag, we now have a sea flower and a town flower. So if we encounter people, if we encounter Gorons throughout the sea, we will have enough for that. In fact, actually, um, because I am a little bit lacking on my memory on terms of how this, oh, we can only fit three? Oh. Okay, fine. Okay, I was gonna bring two of each. Okay, like, that's, that's unfair. <laughs> that is really unfair. <laughs> I, this is gonna be hard to show, but, so, can you, can you see this? So that's the messenger bag. It's got three in it. And it uses the same menu shape as like the monster bag and the seed bag. So that's annoying. Okay, well, I suppose, I think let's go ahead and take the joy pendants to you. This has got to be enough, right? Um, okay, nothing. I need to actually show you, show you. Here you go. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 32? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me. Oh, your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with the thrill of excitement. So this is what pure, jo pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them, thank you. That will do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as promised, I will reward you for going out and collecting all of these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderfully splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. I got the cabana deed. Okay, looks quite old. Da da dum. You see, although I am but a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But lately I haven't made use of it at all. So you can have it. Oh, it's all right, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. And now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I am getting on in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. 
Now I can just stay here and relax as I continue my work with the children. And just so you know, you'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little isle near, near the Triangle Islands. Blah, 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 blah. From now on, it's your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... We'll go ahead and equip the iron boots because we will need to use those um, once we get to Gale Island. Or Gale Isle. How's it going in here? Hello? Oh, hi. You there! Halt! Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before you could say boo. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met before someplace? Yes, you were on the street. What? Whatever you do me do you mean? You don't mean my daughter, do you? Because my daughter has already been rescued from the Forsaken Fortress. Why, she even returned with a huge load of lovely, glittering, delicious treasure. Thanks to her little incident, we become filthy rich overnight. And I mean filthy. Why, there isn't a girl in the world who's as good as a good a child as my Maggie. You may not have been able to help me, but there's no harm done. I'm sure you'll accomplish something in life someday. In the meanwhile, my daughter has blossomed into quite the beautiful, into quite the little beauty. Run along, go spend some time with her. <laughs> Great. Ugh, okay. Hi. Oh. To think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm. But no, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo. The wonderful Moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo. Why, Mo? I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions. But why don't you answer me, Mo? Uh. This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted off into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take the letter I've just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Sure. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. You got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. Oh, I... Okay. The post box. Don't you dare forget. But you must promise not to read it. The secrets of girl's heart uh, are to be shared only when she so desires. Ah, oh, that's why we can only use three slots for purchases. Uh... Because some quest items go in that delivery bag. That's fair. That is very fair. Because we also have the deed in there, too. Okay. Well, uh, I guess things have been changing around here. Okay, I suppose... Let's go ahead and deliver a letter. Ketchunk! This post box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. Do you want to send this now? Sure. Your parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the island postal service. We appreciate your business. All right. Oh, right. Um. So, there's that chest over there, but I think we need to, ah, yes, okay, 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 okay. 
Um, we need to turn it to nighttime. And now there will be more stuff for us to do. So, oh, hey. Looky there. One letter for me. Cash on delivery. Postage is 10 rupees. Okay. Notice of silver membership holders. Two member. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your frequent patronage of Beetle Shop Ships. Since you have earned 30 points, you have been granted silver membership. All silver membership holders receive a special gift of one complimentary ID. It is valid at all Beetle Shop Ships, so bring it to a shop ship near you. I look forward to your future patronage. Yay! I should take it to Beetle, I guess. Cool. Oh, hi. Shh, shh. Take off. Go away. Okay. What's that all about? Who's that? <laughs> I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Just a leaf. I'm just a leaf. Who's that? Meow. What are you doing? Hi. You, you, you startled me. What, what, what do you want? <laughs> My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are anyway? An ally of justice! A what? An, an ally of justice? I, I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please? You owe me that much. <laughs> sure. I suppose. I was once the richest little, uh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. I feel like I've heard this word before, but my brain is like short circuiting on how to say it. I need to be able to hear it. Oh, my phone's not, my volume isn't on. Debutante. Okay. Okay. I knew I had heard it, but my brain wasn't connecting the spelled word with the pronunciation. Uh, did you know that? Sure. Yes. Uh, but one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away from to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. Uh, my father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right. Every last bit of our family fortune, gone. 
That was when my life to po of poverty began. Now, every day, from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open-air shop. So, as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiable life? That's terrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason, I still can't even fig I can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people... It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Ugh. Do you understand my plight? I suppose I can understand it. Then you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm quabbling over nothing. Quibbling. Quibbling. Uh, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. I don't know if that's true. Um... But it's time to I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ah, oh, what an amazing feeling. I've let all, all of my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. But let me at least thank you. Please take this. An empty bottle! Yeah! Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? Oh, when you live in poverty, you can say the cheapest, cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Humph. <laughs> so, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye. And thanks for tonight. All right. Well. I suppose that was uh, certainly something. All right. So there is something that I need to do. Not you. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I need to... Da, 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 da. I need to equip my bow and arrow. Switch it to the fire arrows. Because, if you remember, there is a... Um, way up at the top, there is that lighthouse that is not currently on. Cup ah! <laughs> My eyes! Hey, look at that! We didn't even have to use the mirror shield for that. Nice. <laughs> I only took a quarter heart from that. Holy moly. Okay, can I get there? Okay, well, first of all, I need to make sure that the wind is going the right direction. So we want it to be going... South is probably fine. Do I risk jumping from here? I can't remember. I think we made it from there before, but I want to just be a little bit careful. So we're going to climb up to the top of this building and then jump. All right. And then after that, I believe we'll... Oh, hold on. I need... I almost jumped off without equipping that. That could have been bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was a... That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> that could have gone poorly. Yeah! 
Very nice. Alright, let's swim over to Beetle's shop ship and show him our membership card. Do, 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 do. Hey, you want to use your complimentary ID? Okay, here it goes. You are so great, absolutely incredible, and fa fantastic. That wasn't correct, but there was a line in there that I didn't get to see. And there you go. Isn't it nice to be complimented once in a while? It is, isn't it? That was it. Okay. <laughs> well. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to do on the island. There probably is, but let's just head out for now. Because I want to make some progress. I think we have enough time in the episode to get to Gale Isle and then fast travel to our, um, to the location of the Sage and deal with that. I would think so anyway. All right. All right, you stupid wind. I am more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I'm being shot at also. That's not great. Do I need... I might need bombs. <laughs> okay, you know what? I probably... Use a hammer? Hey, there we go. I've restored the natural order. Yay, magic. Okay. Up, up. Up, up, down, right, left, right. Okay. Nice, nice. You learned the Wind God's Aria. Nice. Oh, hello! You look a little like me. Are you the new hero? I'm, I am Fado of the Kokiri tribe. I know I appear to you as a child, but the eyes can oft deceive. I am a most esteemed state, sage. Blah, 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 blah. I had been praying here so that the power to repel evil would continue to be contained within the blade of the Master Sword. But I was attacked by the evil Ganondorf, and this is what happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? Yeah. Duh. In that case, look for the one who has the same instrument, instrument that I hold, and teach him the song you just played. Okay. Once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument will feel the blood of the sages awaken within his veins. That wind waker of your you hold was used long ago to conduct us sages when we played our song to call upon the gods. In those days, it was always the king who conducted for us. Uh, please, uh, tell the king that I will still play, even in the next world. Okay, uh... I suppose I can do that. Sure. 
All righty. Well, I suppose it is time to head out. You gonna talk to me? Nope. Okay. Well, I will see you over at the Forest Haven as I am about to get shot. We are back at the Forest Haven. It's been a while. Ah. Sneaky. Oh my gosh. I am beaten, I am beaten, devoured. <laughs> Get out of here. I am doing so great. <laughs> I'm trying to not kill them. And instead they are doing all of the damage to me. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Hello? Sorry. Um. Hi there! Oh, Link! I haven't seen you in quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you were able to find me here. Huh? You're wondering why I'm all the way down here? I'm practicing a new song for next year's ceremony, and I need privacy. It isn't any fun if everyone knows in advance what song I'll play. What? You can hear my song outside? But really? I thought the sound of the waterfall would drown it out. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. Fair enough. Why, is that a conductor's baton? A Link, are you a maestro? That's incredible! Are you going to conduct for me, Link? What kind of song is it? I can't wait to hear it. Please conduct! All right. Okay, we need this. Let's play! Hmm, does it go something like this? Strange. Why does it feel like I already know this song? Yeah! Hooray! Where's the applause coming from? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Link. This sacred song that you've conducted has awakened me. I know myself now. I am the Sage of the Wind Temple. It is my fate to return the power to repel evil to your Master Sword and to ease the regrets of my ancestors. Oh, Link, please, you must take me with you to the Wind Temple. All right, sure. Let's go on to the boat. Aw, oh, he's right. I feel like that's a little unsafe. Uh, you should probably be careful. All right, well, next time, I guess we're going to the Wind Temple. So look forward to that. But for now, that is it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So see ya.